Okay, day two, we made it to Luxembourg. Really cool city, very old buildings, and we're gonna walk around and check it out. So behind me is the ancient monastery of Faborg du Grand, built into the rock walls. Looks really cool. Luxembourg is famous for its medieval architecture and ruins that still stand today. And just looking around, there are so many bridges and arches and old buildings. It's so cool here. Definitely a must see. So now we're in the town of Dino. It's a sleepy little river town, uh, almost on the border of France in Belgium. And Dino is famous because it is the birthplace of the saxophone. Adolf Sax was the inventor of the saxophone. He was born here. So we're gonna cruise around a little. The architecture here is gorgeous. There's flowers everywhere. So we're gonna just show you some cool spots. So I'm walking around the Dino Town Hall and this building is beautiful. We drove past it and we just had to stop. I have never seen a building this colorful that's like a, a city building. It's a little rainy, I'm rocking curls, but we're on day three of this adventure and we just found Mannequin Piss, which is a famous statue here in Brussels of a little boy peeing. So Mannequin Piss has been stolen a number of times and he has a bunch of different costumes. Uh, today, we didn't get a costume, but I kind of like seeing him in his original form. It looks cooler. And then everyone kind of says the same thing. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Gotta touch the statue for good luck. So we're in Grand Place, and this square is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's considered one of the most beautiful squares in all of Europe. And it's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at night when it's all lit up. It's way, it's all lit up. It's just, it's completely unreal. to the Gallery de Lorraine, which is an antique market with a glass ceiling. The construction of the gallery started in 1846 and took 18 months, and it was to honor King Leopold and his two sons.
The war at the Atonium statue, which was constructed for the 1958 World's Fair. Originally, it was only supposed to be up for a year, but everyone loved it so much they just left it, and now it's been here for almost 60 years. These shots are not doing it justice. This thing is huge and so cool. This church is crazy, but there's nobody in here. So if you ever want to go see a church in Europe with no tourists, this is going to be the one. in the Cathedral of St. Michael. It started construction in the 9th century in 1047, but it was just a small chapel. And then in the 11th century, they built the church, and then in the 13th century, they added the towers. So in total, it took 300 years to build this cathedral, and it was completed in 1519. We're in Brussels Park, and we found some workout equipment that's kind of fun to just play on. wandering today around Brussels and trying to find some fun stuff to check out and we're walking through a park right now we hear some live music we're gonna go see what it is how cool is this so we find a free music festival that just started today at noon yeah like just started today and there's all these great bands there's food trucks and it's all free so I had read that Brussels is known for its free concerts and free theater performances, but I had no idea we would get into a free music festival today. We just heard the music, followed it, and walked right in. We're just sitting, hanging out in the grass, and enjoying some live music. We're about to head to the airport. It's our last like 10 minutes in Brussels. We had to get one more waffle.